Hi guys, welcome to Create a Frame of Mind. I am so glad you're here. So I was trying to figure out what to do uh, for this week's content and my little girls have been so excited at the idea that fall will be here soon. I mean, we're still in August, it's still pretty hot outside, but they are really excited about fall. In fact, they keep picking up like yellow or oranges leaves outside and then showing them to me as evidence that fall is coming, so they are pretty psyched about fall. So I thought I would go ahead and decorate for fall. I, of course, love that time of year. Um, in the mountains here, uh, we did not live here in October, but we did come and view this house in October, and the colors were so gorgeous and almost unreal. Like, I wasn't familiar with, you know, I've been to the mountains in the fall or whatever, but whatever, for whatever reason, it just seemed like the colors were so rich the time that we came up here. And I think it was about a week before Halloween, so it's like late October. It was just beautiful. And so I guess I'm ultimately kind of wanting to decorate as well. I have all my stuff out. I got some new stuff last year. So um, yeah, I was gonna decorate for fall 2023. And I wanted you guys to decorate with me. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm standing in front of a mantle that needs Obviously some more stuff going on. I've kind of been pulling out pieces and I have a pile of fall decor over there. I'm trying to figure out what will look nice up here. So I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out. So you guys get to do that with me. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Fun fact, if you decorate for Halloween, it's just like in the month of October. If you decorate for fall, it can stay up for a while. I know I'm the first person that ever had that thought in the world. But anyway. So that's what we're gonna do today. So hang out with me and get decorating. Okay, so maybe grab your stuff from your attic, like I did, and just kinda like watch my video and get inspired and decorate yourself. There's no rule about when you can take it out, you know. You can take out your Christmas decorations, you know, two minutes after Halloween's over if you want to. There's like no rule, I mean, you know, if you really, really want to. If it brings joy to your heart, then I say do that. The decorations. Yeah. Right. We're going to add some stuff to this mantle because it desperately needs it and we're going to see what we can come up with. All right, so stick around.
just cute and you can kind of change them up to have different seasons of decor, you know, different colors. Like I put some stuff in here for Christmas. I put stuff in here for fall. obviously a long time after um, Thanksgiving or whatever. Um, I purchased it last year and I just thought it was really pretty. It has these beaded pumpkins and leaves and stuff on it and it's also a really neutral color. Um, it's really wrinkled. It's been packed up for a year. So I was talking with a friend. I was trying to figure out how to you know, do wrinkle it and she was saying maybe flip it over and iron it. Well, I don't know where my iron is in the move. We do have a steamer. So I was gonna try to steam it, um, but I really hope it works. So I guess we're gonna see. But look, it's very pretty, but really subtle colors. And it's got a little bedazzle happening, but it's subtle. I, I like I like bedazzle, but I don't like it like in your face bedazzle. So I have no idea if this is gonna work. In addition, I have not used this steamer in quite a long time. <laughs> So we're just gonna see what happens. And if it doesn't work out, it was not expensive or anything. So I'm way on clearance, but I thought it was pretty. I like the fringe too. I hope everybody is having a good day, wherever you are. Today is my little, my youngest daughter's birthday. Um, she's already had a birthday party. She's getting additional presents tonight from me and her dad and also from grandma and grandpa. So we're gonna have like a little second birthday party <laughs> tonight. And then we didn't have school today because she wanted to lay off. So I'm doing this and then I'm hanging out with her for the rest of the day. We're both my girls for the rest of the day. And yeah. but we haven't had a birthday party and at our house in quite a long time. In Atlanta, I mean, obviously anybody can have a birthday party at their house, but it was just more of a thing to kind of like have it at a place, like at a bouncy house place, or one time we had it at a gymnastics place or whatever, and then you don't have to worry about anything. They take care of everything. So there's just some things that I didn't really think about because <laughs> I hadn't had to think about them in a while. And um, my husband ran and got pizza and we're, you know, we're rural out here. So that took longer than expected and everybody was sweet, but I kind of felt like, okay, I'm learning new things and I'm gonna do better next time. <laughs> so, which is all fine, I guess. All right, that is really wrinkled. Like that's bumming me out. Huh, it does gonna look better. It does gonna look better on the other side. Okay. Hmm, are you barking at the sound? This guy is this little, well not little, this lady here is Cora. She's our sweet puppy. And the other dogs over there. Because these dogs use our couches more than we do. Very full, which is annoying. What? The dog is dreaming. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
towel under this. I'm hoping it didn't mess up my coffee table. I didn't even think about putting a towel under it. All right, so it looks a little better. It's not gonna be perfect. I think it's pretty, I'm gonna use it. I think it looks better than it did. So there you go. Okay, so you are looking at my mantle in my living room, sort of my upstairs living room. We kind of have a space similar downstairs, but this is my mantle shelf. I took everything off so we could kind of start fresh. Um, I'm wearing my fall inspired dress today. I got this at the thrift store. It's from a very bougie band, a uh, bougie brand. <laughs> it's a very nice brand um, called Carolina K. And I had actually mentioned it in a previous um, video of mine, so I'll link that as well. But I love it and I thought it was kind of fall inspired. It's got sort of the mustard yellow, it's got sunflowers on it, birds. It's just really an interesting pattern. There's like raindrops, it's really kind of fun. So I thought it would be kind of a fun fall dress. Anyways, so I thought we could start with decorating the mantle, but I wanted to show you guys something I'm gonna incorporate and decorate the mantle. And it's just too cool to not show you in more detail. So. Um, I mentioned before that my husband and I have gotten into um, online estate sales, and yeah, so <laughs> I came across something that I just had to get. I really love copper, um, and so I saw these two kind of items, and they really look like large pitchers maybe, or cups, but I, I think they're quite old, and so I wanted to show you guys. Um, these pieces before we kind of get started on the mantle because they're going to be in the mantle design, if you will. So I just had to show you. Uh, my husband was looking at them as well, and he thinks they're probably handmade, which makes them even cooler. They look very like old world European or something. So when I purchased them on the auction site, the description called them tankards. So they're just these really large pitchers or whatever. I mean, I think they're actually supposed to be like almost like a giant mug of beer or something like that. That's what I think. But they're just so pretty. And they definitely have this sort of, there's like this little scallop up here, if you guys can see. But the thing that really makes us think that they're homemade is like the nails here and this little thing here on the handle. It definitely looks, um, you know, like somebody handmade that. But I just thought they were so pretty and so cool. And I love copper. I um, also love this little detail up here. So I just thought these were too cool and I wanted to show you guys. Um, so this is one of the tankards that I purchased. And I can't even remember. I think I got two for... Um, I don't think it was more than $50. I could be wrong. I'll have to look it up. But... It wasn't a ton. And then this one is also really cool. Now, I'm curious about this one because it does have this little detail at the top, this sort of flower thing happening. And that looks like it's a little more complicated, but, um, and it's got it on the bottom too, but it's kind of worn off. I don't know if you guys can see, kind of get close, that um, it's got this handle that's really cool. And again, it has sort of a, that was, this was attached and, a really basic way and it's got these nails but and then this is what the inside looks like and then the bottom but it's also got sort of a pattern on the side of it I thought about shining these up and my husband's like I think they look cool the way they are so I don't know I may do that I may not but anyway I just thought they were too cool and I wanted to show you guys so and then size wise they're very you know, different. This one's quite larger than this one, but I just thought they were too cool. I couldn't pass them up. So there you go. Any of you who happen to know anything about those pieces, feel free to uh, comment below. I'm really curious about them. My um, dad is big into antiques. He knows quite a lot, um, but he has certain antiques, you know, like certain eras that he is interested in. I don't think he's familiar with with those but um i would love to know more about it um we're kind of an interested i'm interested in antiques i'm kind of learning more but i've learned some stuff from my dad already but anyway so now we're going to get started on the mantle so i'm pretty excited so let's do it play around a little bit i don't know 
Love wood slices for all kinds of things. They're really fun for fall. They don't cost a lot. You can obviously make them yourself by cutting up a tree or whatever. My children most definitely, you know, wrote on this one. But you know what you can't see on the mantle? You can't see that, so I'm gonna use it. So. so I have two of these, and I also love the color. It kind of plays on the copper. Got this. I thought it would look pretty on the wood. This. I asked for some one year, like around Christmas or something, my husband went crazy and brought me a bunch back. <laughs> This has stuff on it, of course. Sparkly pumpkins, glitter pumpkins, acorns, and little pine cones. And I got this last year from, I want to say a dollar store probably. Um, and I don't really love the glittery, but I like it with natural elements because I feel like it looks more interesting than it's just a bunch of glitter <laughs> in a thing. So it does have this sort of more natural looking, um, you know, elements in here as well with the filler. But I kind of like it. I do have more of this, but I didn't want to fill it all the time. I also love a good apothecary jar. I've had this forever. I've used it in different places. It's just really, also I like that sound. Makes me happy. Um, yeah, we'll get here. I went ahead and washed this. Cause it's some stuff with that but we don't have pine trees up here guys like Georgia Georgia on my mind moonlight through the pines there's like a lot of pine trees up in Georgia <laughs> so we don't have a lot of pine trees here and so I couldn't find any pine cones and I didn't realize that until I was looking for them so all right so I got some sticks I wanted to get some dry um, some dry flowers but we have just had a busy week. Uh, my daughter's, like I said, my daughter's birthday was on, our birthday party was on Sunday. And then we have another birthday party for my friend coming up on Thursday. We have another event this weekend. We were out and about getting a present for her yesterday. We just had a lot going on. So I didn't get a chance. In addition, we're kind of far from stuff. So I can't just be like, hey, I'm gonna run down and get some dry flowers. It's not like that. <laughs> So that is the mantle. Let me know what you think. I thought it, I think it's kind of fun. There's color, but there's not too much color. I like it. I think it's a good balance, I guess. 
I'll probably play with it more, but let me know what you think. So this is the next space that we are going to decorate. Um, it's the table under our TV, but for right now, we're gonna decorate this space for fall. A sparkly, but kind of really neutral runner. Um, I got this way on clearance last year, um, well after, you know, fall or whatever, and it was very affordable. So I went ahead and steamed this. It looks a little bit better, it's still not perfect, but so that's gonna be here. And it kind of has pumpkins going both ways, so I guess I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna put that in the center. Um, I also know that I need a cord cover. That may happen eventually. I'm not gonna worry about it today, but I'm aware I don't love this right here, but you know. So we're gonna start with this guy. Um, this one's a bit beat up, but I still love the, the print. Um, these are by a German art. I just looked him up like just a second ago because <laughs> I, I knew it was a well-known artist because I think this one is quite famous of a bunny. Um, and his signature is very unique, but he is an artist. His name is Albrecht Durrier. He was around in the 1500s, part of the German Renaissance. So I did not, I again, just looked that up. So... <laughs> Um, and I love this one too. I, I got both of these at an estate sale and I've had them forever. They used to be in my kitchen, but this is the saddest little owl ever, but I still love it. But yes, the saddest little owl. So I think he did a lot of very realistic um, animal drawings and things. I mean, this is beautiful. If you look at the fur on the rabbit, it's very well done. So yeah, Albrecht Durrier. And I could be completely saying that wrong or maybe Durrier, I don't know. Um, but that is his name, or at least as good as I can pronounce it. But anyway, I wanted to incorporate these little guys. I'll tell you wrong. This giant, um, beautiful jar uh, is a, my parents got this for my girls, and they put like a terrarium type of thing in it. Um, I just added sort of some moss and some plants. I don't know if it was executed exactly as they liked it. I still kind of think it looks neat. I just thought it was a cool bottle, so I wanted to add that in. And it looks very fall to me with the moss, and that is a fake, a little mushroom that's fake. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I still think it's kind of cute. And I really like this uh, wood. Yeah, it kind of goes with that, so it's kind of the same tone of wood. And the thing is quite heavy, so. I've had for a long time. I've used it on various projects. These little birds have had for a long time. I had to kind of stab them. <laughs> Their feet have come off or they have like a little clip or something. So I had to put a little piece of wood. Obviously they're not real birds, guys, not real birds. Anyway, but put a little piece of wood so I could kind of put it in here. And I think it's working okay, I don't know. I'm messing around with that, but. A bird's nest on top of a bookshelf makes me happy. I realize that's a weird combination of objects. I'm okay with it. I also don't want you guys to see if there's a stick. <laughs> wow, it really doesn't want to go in there. Okay. Close your eyes, I'm gonna make a new hole in the bird. <laughs> Again, fake bird. It sounds like a foam bird. I don't know what this is made of, but it's okay. So bird on top of a bookshelf, bird's nest on top of a bookshelf, bird's nest on top of books.
regardless. 